Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 5 to power x times 5 to power x, this is equal to 60. So what is the value of x? Let's prevent the solution from here. This exponential equation is in the form of a to power n times a to power m, which you can express as a to power n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 5 to power x plus x, this is equal to 60. Therefore, we have that 5 to the power of x plus x, this is equal to 2x, this is equal to 60. Now, to solve for x here, we introduce logarithm on both sides, so that we have log 5 to the power of 2x, this is equal to log 60. Now, this implies that log 5 to the power of 2x, this is in the form of log a to the power n, which is equal to n log a. Now, applying this power root property of logarithm, then log 5 to the power 2x becomes 2x log 5. This is equal to log 60. Now, let's divide both signs by log 5, here by log 5. So, let's simplify here, log 5 and log 5, so that now we have 2x is equal to log 60 divided by log 5. So, this implies that we can express 60 basically as, this is the same thing as 12 times 5. Substituting this here, we have 2x is equal to log 12 times 5. Everything here divided by log 5. The next step is that log 12 times 5, this is in the form of log a times b. This can be expressed as log a plus log b. Now, applying this logarithm property from here, this implies that 2x is equal to, this is log 12, divided by log 5, then plus log 5, divided by log 5. So, let's simplify here, log 5 and log 5, so that this is 1. So, here we have 2x, this is equal to 1. Plus, this is log 12 divided by log 5. The next step from here, we can express 12 as 4 times 3. So this implies that here we have 2x is equal to 1 plus this is log 4 times 3. Everything here divided by log 5. We have that log 4 times 3, this is in the form of log a times b, which we can express as log a plus log b. So this implies that here we have 2x is equal to 1 plus log 4 divided by log 5, then plus log 3 divided by log Now here we have 2x is equal to 1 plus log 4 over log 5, then plus log 3 over log 5. Log 4 over log 5, this is in the form of log a divided by log b, which you can express as log a to base b. Now applying this logarithm property from here, this implies that a we have 2x is equal to 1 plus log 4 to base 5 then plus log 3 to base 5. The next step from here, let's divide both signs by 2, so that now we have that x is equal to, this is a half plus a half log 4 to base 5, 
10 plus a half log 3 to be 5. Now, since a half is common here, we can factor out a half so that now we have a half into the parentheses. This is 1 plus log 4 to be 5. Then plus log 3 to be 5. You close the brackets here. Then this is the value of x. This is the value of x. So let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, if you recall from here, we have that 5 to the power of x times 5 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. Now, this is this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. So this implies that we have 5 to the power of x plus x. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. So this implies that here we have 5 to the power of x plus x, which is equal to 2x. This should give us a value of 60. Now let's substitute the value of x here. So we have 5 to the power of 2 times x. x is a half into the parentheses. This is 1 plus rho 4 to base 5. Then plus rho 3 to base 5. Cross the parentheses here. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. Now, Let's simplify here by 2 by 2 so that now we have 5 to power 1 plus this is rho 4 to base 5 then plus rho 3 to base 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. Now 5 to the power of 1 plus rho 4 to base 5 plus rho 3 to base 5. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m which you can express as a to the power n times a to the power m applying this exponent property here we have 5 to the power 1 times 5 to the power of 4 to base 5 times 5 to the power of 3 to base 5 this is supposed to give us a value of 60 now we have that 5 to the power of 4 to base 5 and 5 to the power of 3 to base 5. This is in the form of m to the power of rog a to base m. This is supposed to give us a value of a. Applying this logarithm property, then this implies that 5 to the power of 4 to base 5. This should give us a value of 4. And 5 to the power of rog 3 to base 5. This is equal to. 3. So substituting this, here we have 5 multiplying by, we have 4 times 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 60. So 5 times 4, this is 20 times 3. This is equal to 60, which is equal to 60. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that the value of x which is equal to a half into the parentheses 1 plus rog 4 to base 5 plus rog 3 to base 5 satisfies the equation so can you follow the steps like this video and subscribe see you in the next video